This is Cafe Mocha To Go. I'm your host, Vanessa James, and I'm so excited to have Mrs. Rosalind Young here talk about the event of the summer. She is the founder and president of Black Health Matters. Welcome, Rosalind, and tell us all about your amazing virtual event that you have happening in just a couple days. Yes, this Saturday on July 18th, we are going to have the most significant health education event of the summer called the Black Health Matters Summit. So it's a function of all the world-class physicians are going to come together to talk about African-American health. So we're excited. African-Americans have been disproportionately affected by the COVID crisis that's happening all across this country, as you know. Talk to me about some things that you're going to be doing to make sure and advocate for us in, in, in terms of during this summit. Thank you. So education is key, right? Education, education. So we have a world-class faculty, and we're going to talk about African-American health holistically. The issues that we're having with COVID, yes, it's a situation, it's unfortunate, but there are comorbidities that make African-Americans more accessible to issues. So let's fold the whole discussion and make it more organic. Right. Let's talk about COVID-19, heart disease, kidney disease, mental health, you know, sickle cell disease, women's health, breast cancer, ovarian cancer. Let's talk about clinical trials, all within the context that this information has to work because we're living in a very special time. We cannot take our health for granted, nor the health of our families and our loved ones. Absolutely. Now, your organization, you founded, obviously, during the, the ACA, which I found really awesome and interesting. Tell us a little bit more about that. So yes, so the Affordable Care Act gave us an opportunity to launch Black Health Matters. Prior to the ACA, you could be uh, disqualified from getting health insurance if you had a toenail that was blue. Something so minor would actually bar you from getting health insurance. But because of the ACA, there were no quali qualifiers regarding pre-existing conditions. Also, you would be able to get mammograms and screenings that you would never have access to before. So people who had to worry about groceries versus a mammogram will now be able to just have a mammogram. It would be free of charge. So services like that gave us a step up and access is key. So we launched Black Health Matters to be the resource for the thousands of newly interested people who are ready to make a change in their lives. And so through knowledge, we're able to spread information that makes a difference. Awesome. Now, Rosalind, last year you had 2,000 attendees. I think you're going to break that ceiling this year. How many people can <laughs> register and where can they go to register for the summer? <laughs> Come to blackhealthmatters.com, register. You'll see banners throughout the site. In addition to our 2,000 plus pages of health content, Come to blackhealthmatters.com and you'll see the registration button for our summit. Now, you have a very special guest that's going to be in attendance. Uh, I think the world's most popular and most adored woman, Mrs. Late First Lady Michelle Obama. Tell us about her engagement this year with the summit. Yeah, so yes, we're having Michelle Obama. Drop the mic. Uh, <laughs> she will be speaking with us about the intersectionality of public health and voting. Again, we launched because of the ACA. No ACA, no Black Health Matters. That happened because I voted and we had a wonderful president. We all voted for a wonderful president. We need to keep this momentum going. So our first lady is going to talk to us about why we need to register, because health is more than just us eating well, exercising, drinking water. It's about making change that's tangible and community-wide. So through voting, we can create a, a culture of health for African-Americans, and that's through registering and then voting. So she's going to speak to that intersectionality. I love it. When we all vote, baby. When we, when all, we vote. all vote. <laughs> well, Rosalind, congratulations. I know that you know putting events like this together are gruesome and emotional. So many things are going on in the background that the average person doesn't see. Hats off to you for putting together such an important summit that everybody can use all of the tools that you offer and enjoy. Uh, okay, so post-summit, are people able to check it out afterwards or is it only live? Good question. So yes, for 30 days after the summit, you'll still be able to see it. Um, it'll be on our Black Health Matters website. The only difference is we have a virtual exhibit hall and we have more than 15 participants and partners. 
And during the summit, you'll be able to kind of peruse and go through the exhibit hall and talk to therapeutic disease experts who will have resources and information about the disease states that are presented at the summit. So there's great synergy there. Awesome. Well, this is amazing. Congratulations and hats off to you for your fourth annual Black Health Matters Summit. Thank you. I'm so excited to have you. Have a wonderful rest of the summer and happy summit. Thank you. Good health. Take care.